Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. My name is Camel, and today we have a guide for a unique two-handed Warhammer. It's a bit more of a collectible meme rather than an item that will accompany you until the end of time. So keep that in mind, don't stop the press, it's just a lull of a weapon. Trollsbane. Getting it is super easy. No quests, no dialogue, no tricks, just trolls. So we'll want to make our way to this spot right here on the map. It's just below Cradlestone Tower, which is in the southern mountains of the Reach. Below the tower, under the cliff, is this cave, and two trolls who seem to be disagreeing about something. Probably along the lines of, No! I'll leave that shitty comment! Cause you know, that's how trolls sound. But it does get pretty serious quite quickly, as soon enough one of them kills the other. And when I say serious, I mean seriously good. So anyway, make your way into that dare cave, and inside... Pfft, Classic troll move, slain internet goers scattered throughout the cave. These trolls were particularly savage. There is even another troll skull in here and a freaking mammoth skull. Damn, that's some serious meme to take down a mammoth. But sadly, there is one other body in this cave, a male Nord, Frofnir Trollsbane. On his corpse, we can find the laughable weapon, Trollsbane. Grab dead. And before we check it out, let's just take a moment to remember the legendary hero of Skyrim, Frofnir Trollsbane, who dedicated his entire life to eradicating trolls with his rather appropriately named weapon, Trollsbane. Sadly, he was struck down by a savage and deviant trollololol. In the name of Frofnir Trollsbane, I sentence you to die, fell creature. Alright, now that's done, let's check it out. Trollsbane has a base damage of 20, a swing speed of 0.6, which leaves us with a base DPS of 12. It's got a reach of 1.3, a weight of 25, a value of 121, which is a value 11 higher than that of a standard steel warhammer. It can be upgraded with a steel ingot, which requires you to have the arcane smithing perk, but it benefits from the steel smithing perk, meaning it can be upgraded all the way to legendary without the assistance of smithing fortifications. And finally, it's enchantment. Burns trolls for 15 points. Now this enchantment is unique and Trollsbane cannot be disenchanted, therefore you cannot learn this enchantment or apply it to other weapons. Not that you'd want to. Remember at the start of the video how I said this weapon is a meme? Yeah, it is. Even if you come and get this weapon at level 1, it's meh. And unless you are fighting trolls, it pretty much has no value whatsoever. And let's be honest, how often do you encounter trolls in Skyrim? Not too often. Probably thanks to Frofnir. Skyrim is now a land of peace and sense. A land of respectable debates. A land where- no, it's at Civil War, forget that. Now if a non-troll enemy is struck by Trollsbane, the enchantment will simply do nothing at all. And they will just take the normal weapon damage, which is identical to that of a standard steel warhammer, so meh. You'd be much better off just getting a weapon that did fire damage. It would still work on trolls, but it would also work on everything else. In a sense, Trollsbane is a troll of a weapon and it might just be an easter egg kind of weapon that may actually be a reference to an easter egg weapon in the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind where in Morrowind you can find the corpse of an NPC named Arlo on his corpse is a weapon named Ban Hammer. This is a reference to the Something Awful forums, where the site's creator Richard Lotax uses the Ban Hammer to ban trolls. On the forums, Richard is sometimes referred to as Arlo Hence why the character in-game carries this mythical troll demolishing weapon, the Banhammer. So Trollsbane is more than likely a nod to that Banhammer that banned trolls. Of course, you'll know about the Banhammer if you've watched my Morrowind's Easter Egg video. And if you haven't, get on it, son. Apart from that, there isn't much else on Trollsbane. It's a very bad weapon with top shelf meme qualities, and you should go and collect it and add it to your collection. Also, if Frothnir Trollsbane is spawned using the console, he will be hostile, which probably means he's crazy, or the developers are calling you the player a troll. Anyway, enjoy your new weapon and have fun clearing house in H3H3's comment section.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique Warhammer known as Trollsbane. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you will be very interested in checking out the other Skyrim Special Edition guides I have already done. Links to those can be found down in the description. Now down there, in the old description, you can find links to my social medias including Twitter and Patreon. Be sure to hit them up if you are keen in supporting the channel and keeping up to date with what I'm up to. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos for you, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.